Our fascination with UFOs perhaps stems from us wanting to find life. Many disagree that we're the only intelligent life in the universe. After all, scientists have come forward and said that within the Milky Way galaxy alone there's billions of planets, and within the universe there's billions of galaxies, meaning that there's trillions of planets just waiting to be discovered. With this amount of planets and the fact that our small solar system holds life, there's even many scientists that have got on board with the idea that life exists on other planets. With the universe being so massive though, there's no way we'll be able to travel these vast distances anytime soon. But there are those that believe that intelligent life has come to us. This is based on the idea that advanced civilizations would have only had to start 10,000 years, or 100,000 years before us and they would be much more advanced. When you bear in mind how much the human race has achieved in the last 100 years alone, it's not impossible to think that within 100,000 years we will be a spacefaring species. As mentioned though, there are those that think that an advanced race has already done this, and this is who is behind some of the UFO sightings that get reported from across our planet. It's no secret that officials have admitted that we're interested in these crafts, and this could be because they have the ability to easily outperform our tank. For years governments across the world have been investigating unidentified flying objects, and spending hundreds of millions of dollars on classified projects to find out what they are and what they want. However, it seems they don't have their answer as various UFO programs are still active. UFO researchers have said that one of the best places to see these mysterious crafts isn't actually on Earth, but rather via the many satellites we have orbiting our planet. They give us an insight into what goes on around our planet, and every so often someone is able to capture something mysterious. One interesting discovery was made back in 2015, and UFO researchers immediately labelled this object as a UFO. Now before we carry on, it's important to remember that a UFO is simply an object that cannot be identified at that moment in time. It's only been in recent years that they've been linked to alien life. The issue is though, when people are finding strange objects near our sun and moon on a daily basis, you can see why people would want to question these things, especially when we're told that we don't have the technology to do this. As mentioned, this interesting object was discovered back in 2015 by UFO VNI 2012, a UFO researcher who is well known in the field for detecting mysterious objects above our planet. This craft is of particular interest though, as at first glance it appears to be firing some sort of beam. One UFO researcher stated the following, Seeing these types of crafts around our sun isn't uncommon. However, seeing them emit these types of beams isn't something you see very often. In fact, I've only seen one other craft do this, and it's anyone's guess as to what it is and why they do this. I've spoken to other UFO researchers that suggest the beams are energy beams, or that it has something to do with opening portals. It sounds like an out there theory, but people are just commenting on what they see, and this craft does look like it's firing out an energy beam. End quote. Interestingly, this wasn't just some glitch either. This mysterious object was observed close to our sun from October 8th, 2015 to November 9th, 2015. So what exactly are these objects and why are so many people reporting these alleged UFOs near the sun? Some amateur researchers have tried to piece together what these objects could be, with other researchers saying that in some cases these objects are massive, being thousands of feet in diameter. From NASA's point of view though, they state that what people are seeing is nothing more than space debris being picked up by their cameras and that all of these alleged UFOs can be explained as debris or anomalies that happened during the processing. With one NASA researcher saying the following, The majority of these alleged UFO sightings can be easily explained. One of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way in front of their cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like an unidentified flying object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. End quote. Many people are not happy with this reply from the space agency, and have even gone as far as saying this explanation is lazy, and that they're not even looking into these reports. 
theorists suggest that although some of these alleged UFOs can be put down to anomalies or space debris, many of them have been seen around the sun for several weeks, and then suddenly shooting away at high speeds. As of today, many of these mysterious looking objects are still being captured by the space agency, along with amateur astronomers. With space being so vast and home to an endless amount of planets, it's caused some to think outside of the box when it comes to life. There's those that believe we're alone in the universe, and that our planet came to be due to random events playing out. On the other hand, there's those that believe our galaxy isn't anything special, and that there's a huge amount of galaxies just like ours that harbour life. This is when people state that a civilization would have only had to have started a hundred thousand years before us for it to be much more advanced. It's impossible to say that other advanced civilizations are not scattered across the universe. One of the issues we're having at the moment though is trying to locate them. With discoveries and announcements being made in regards to UFOs every year, there's some that think in the near future we'll be told some massive news, and that will change our understanding of our place in the universe. With the government's recent announcements on UFOs and otherworldly crafts, this has only caused more excitement around this topic, as we might soon get told if we're truly alone in the universe. So what do you make of this mysterious object captured close to the sun, and what do you think it could be? Do you think it's a UFO firing some sort of energy beam, or can this object be explained as space debris? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.